What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean and replace the thermal paste on your Ant Miner U3. Um, you should clean it, like dust it off and get all this dust as you can see here off your Ant Miner at least every couple months to keep it at optimal performance. And you also want to change the thermal paste at least once a year or so. So I had this particular Ant Miner U3, this is my first one of the Batch 2 line anyways. Um, I had this for about 10, 10 months now or almost 11 months running non-stop for almost 11 months. So it's almost time to change the thermal pace so I'm gonna just do that right now. So what you need before you get started is some rubbing alcohol swabs maybe a couple q-tips some dust off screwdriver and thermal paste I actually prefer or recommend Arctic Silver 5 so let's get started first you want to do is flip this over see the three screws on the ends you'd want to get those first we'll get to the ones in the center afterwards So then you should be able to release the top housing from it. So there you go. See all that grime? Not good. So what you want to do is hit it with some dust off. Spray a couple times with your dust off. Make sure no coolant is coming out. So then you just hit it. Sorry if I'm kind of out of the center of view, just don't want to get it all over my camera. Yeah, it won't be well, have to clean my camera too. <laughs> so yeah, just trying to keep my distance away from the camera a bit. Alright, I think it's the best it's going to get for that part. And then what you want to do is also clean the fan. If you want to dismantle the fan, you can, but I find it just easy to come in there with a alcohol swab and just wipe it away it's mostly on the edge of the blades so just get it right there you might have to grab another one which is fine just make sure you get that nice and clean okay still got a little bit more dust in there Let's see if I can get some of that out So yeah, it's not perfectly clean, I still need to do a little bit more work there, but let's just move on to changing the thermal paste, because I can always get that after. Don't want to keep you guys waiting. So, um, what you do is just take out these screws. I recommend going in a cross pattern, so then that way you don't risk damaging anything. you want to take out like the top one first <coughs> yeah, yeah with computers also you always want to you're taking off the heat sink to a CPU or whatever um, you always want to go in a cross pattern because if you if you don't there's going to be a whole a whole lot of pressure on to one side and that's not good for the chips or the board so got the first one out so going on for the second my desk is covered in dust now from this it's all good I may speed up this video, I'm not quite sure, because this might take a while, but working on it, guys. Working on it. 
Okay. Two more to go. So you got the cross pattern. So yeah, there we go. This is technically a teardown as well, so you get to see the innards. So there we go. First to come off is the fan assembly. Disconnect the fan. Make sure you don't bend it too much. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, there's the the four chip setup. Like they say online, so they weren't lying. There's four chips there. So I'm going to try to take this off from the bottom. It's actually held together with some thermal paste as well. This is some um, copper. Let's see. I'm not. Let's see if I can get this off. Here, hold on. How come right there? It's not pretty good. Oh, there we go. See? Thermal paste on the bottom. By the looks of the thermal paste, looks pretty close to what you'd find in Arctic Silver 5. So, yeah. Kind of got to remember how the board goes on there. I think it's like that. Maybe it's like this. Yeah, it was like this. So you can see where those spaces are. That's where you'd put it like that. So then you don't affect these contacts. You see the contacts? See they line up with the the little spaces on the plate. So what you're gonna do is um <coughs> you're gonna grab your rubbing alcohol swabs again and you're just gonna start cleaning. I'll start off with the fan assembly. Just try your, well, you gotta do your best. Do your best at getting all this off. You need to get all that off. It has to be really clean. Can't have, can't have any grease or anything on there. A little bit of markings where it was, but I think that's the best we're gonna get. So put that down. <coughs> now you want to work your way to the motherboard. There you go, or logic board, whatever you'd want to call it. You see the chips. Clean around here. Don't worry too much. I would say not to be rough, but you can apply a little bit of pressure. So as you can see, it's pretty clean. I don't know if the camera's gonna really focus there, but you can see the Ant Miner logos. So let's get on with the back. Okay, let's see, grab another another rubbing alcohol swab. Going for the back. This one's pretty easy. It's just a flat surface. Make sure you get it all off. Try your best not to touch any of the surfaces that you cleaned. Don't want to get any of your grease from the tips of your fingers on there, really. So you're going to cle clean the plate itself now. Pull that thermal paste off. So, all right, there we go. Nice and clean. So next, um, what you'll need to do, which I kind of forgot to say, but you guys probably have one laying around somewhere, is get a card of some sort. Uh, credit card seems to work the best. So I say use your credit card. You can clean it off afterwards. It's just thermal paste. So what you're going to do is, let's see, where did my thermal paste go? There it is. <clears throat> you're going to start applying the thermal paste. I'm going to start with the bottom here. So what you want to do is just put a small dab, not much at all. Small dab, I would say right on the center. Like that. I may need more, but we'll see where this takes me. 
because you can always apply more you can't take it back you know what I mean so what you're gonna do with the card is just try and spread that around you see how I'm doing that yeah it looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more there okay Ooh. let's drop the card there we go. just spread that around Try my best to cover all that gold plated surface or copper plated, I should say. There we go. Got about all of it. Yeah, that's pretty good. A little better than that. Yeah, I think a debit card definitely works better. I should have grabbed my card out before I made this video. So seeing I kind of made a mess there if I was you uh, I recommend just cleaning up that excess you see right there just get off the sides because sometimes too much thermal paste can be a bad thing so you want to get rid of that All right that's pretty good <coughs> so we're gonna flip it over and do the chips with this one you just need a tiny dab on just each one you could probably spread it around using the tip of your thermal paste I just like all my stuff evenly spread I found it to work a little better than just slapping it on there okay next one and then the last one alright so you want to place this look at the contacts like I was saying before match it with the spaces on the plate so there you go let's get it on there it's kind of moving around a bit just a little okay just try to hold it in place oops it's kind of messed up there barely tipped touched the very tip of that processor but I think I'll be okay. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. I'm gonna try to put put the heat sink back on. Gotta line it up. Make sure it's lined up well. It's kind of tricky. Now we gotta line up the screw holes. Make sure you don't damage the board while doing this. Sorry, I have to get off camera for a second so I can get a better view. Okay, I'm trying to screw this in right now. It's kind of tricky. It, oh, all three pieces are kind of sliding around a bit. So I'm going to do what I can. It's definitely much harder than it looks. I actually recommend if you guys have somebody else around to help you, I would, ask, I would ask for help because everything's sliding around. You need something to hold it down. Somebody, I should say. Okay, got the first screw in. Make sure you line that up. Like I said, even though you got one screw in, everything may not be quite as lined up as you'd want it. <coughs> so let's see, going for that cross pattern, go for the cross pattern again there, got the second one in there so going in for the third <coughs> okay I'm back I paused the video because um, I was having a, kind of a difficult time get, keeping this all together and screwing it together so I didn't want to keep you guys waiting that whole entire time so the magic of video editing right so um, got all four screws on there like I was saying before when you're screwing it back in try to go on a cross pattern just to ensure that you don't do any damage to that board so what you're gonna do next is just plug the fan back in and then you will want to get the housing start screwing that back in this is pretty simple you can see 
that there's two screw holes there but there's no screw holes anywhere else so you know exactly where you gotta be putting it so you put it down like that flip it around then you get your screws get the first one you can screw this any way you want it but I kinda like to screw one here and then one there so then you don't got it sliding around at all so you don't want that especially if you had to go through the same hassles as me you'll want to avoid any frustrations as possible man in this mess lost the screws oh, found one okay cool got another one so yeah that's another recommendation I could say is try to keep your area clean so then you don't lose screws like me here's the last one okay and there you go and that's how you clean and change the thermal paste on your Ant Miner U3. And also, it's a teardown, so it's like three videos in one. But until next time, YouTube, thanks for watching. Uh, I got so much thermal paste on my hands. But yeah, thanks for watching again. Goodbye. Until next time.